the difficult truth of our hymns, when he cometh. 49. Now, I'm just going to state the facts. I'm going to state the truth. You do what you want with it. William Alcock, Alcock, Alcock Cushing was an American Unitarian minister. Unitarian minister. Unitarian minister and hymn writer. And one of his hymns was something about the bells in heaven. I don't read anywhere about bells in heaven. All right, let's look at Unitarians, the minister of this religion, before we break down to this, this hymn. The Unitarians believe in the moral authority, but not necessarily the divinity of Jesus. So they don't believe Jesus is God. Are we really starting this hymn off great? The religion of this minister says Jesus is not God. And we don't find Jesus once in this hymn. We should respect the beliefs of others, as well as the right to hold those beliefs. So denying that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and the only access to God the Father, Catholics are just as good as Unitarians. Uh, Jehovah Witnesses believe as we don't believe that Jesus is not God, so they're just as good. And atheists, they're just as good because everybody's got their own beliefs. You hear this rubbish when you do a public ministry. And my religion is just as good as yours. Unitarian belief by a Unitarian minister. This is a minister of the Unitarian belief. Now, if the guy had any objections to the Unitarianism, he should not have been in the Unitarian Church as a minister. And I'm not looking at Mr. Cushing, I'm looking at the Unitarian because he's a minister of the Unitarian. They believe Jesus did not claim to be God. I and the Father are one. Thomas said, my Lord, my God, and there was no rebuke. That they believe Jesus did not claim to be God and that his teachings did not suggest the existence of the triune God. In other words, there's no God the Father, there's no God the Son, and no God the Holy Spirit, denying First John the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. This is the foundation of the Unitarian, of a minister of the Unitarian, of the hymn writer, of the hymn we're going to look tonight, or today. Over time, however, specifically in the mid-19th century, Unitarianism, right, this is after him, this is 1856, but the Unitarians in the 19th century, Unitarians moved away from a belief in the necessity of the Bible as the source of religion truth. So take the Bible and throw it in the garbage can. That's what they're saying. They believe Jesus did not claim to be God. That his teachings did not suggest the existence of the triune or trinity. Unitarians believe in the moral authority, but not necessary the divinity of Jesus. Jesus is not God. Any God would do. Their theology is thus opposed to the Trinitarian theology of other Christian denominations, but all the religions are good to the Unitarians. That's the Unitarianism denomination religion where this guy is a minister and preached from the pulpits thereof. When he was a teenager and started to read the Bible alone, oh, give me a headache, he became a follower of the Orthodox Christian school of thought, not heart. When he cometh, is based upon Malachi 3.17 for children in his Sunday school. King James, Malachi 3.17, And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. In a day when I make up my jewels, I will spare them, as a man spares his own son that serveth him. Now the revised English version, which is the Bible I could find, of the Unitarians, I couldn't find a quote of 
Malachi 317 and the REV. But the ESV, the, the English Standard Version, in Malachi 317, they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, the day when I make up treasured possessions and will spare them as a man spares his son who serves him. I, mean, I don't know what Bible, I couldn't find out what Bible this guy followed. But according to the Unitarians, the REV, the ESV, definitely not the King James V. According to the Unitarians, and then like I said, in the 19th century, we just throw all the Bibles out. They have a Bible, but they don't believe it. Almost like the Catholic Church. Now, here's a statement about the, the Bible beliefs. Johnson's last act of support for the Unitarians occurred the year before his death, when he turned over to them the copyright that he had held for William Newcomer's translation of the Bible, so that it could be used as a basis for a Unitarian version Thomas Belsham, Memoirs of the Late Reverend Theophilus Lindsay, 1812, page 101. Newton's translation was was desired because it was based on Gershwin's Greek New Testament. It's not King James. Now, I don't know about Mr. Cushing. I'm looking at, I couldn't find information about Mr. Cushing, but I'm looking at the Unitarian. Were a minister of the Unitarian. A man of authority in the Unitarian Church. So I would think as a minister he would follow the, 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 the precepts of his church that he's the minister of. I mean, I, today, well, not today, in history, if a Baptist preacher got up to say, well, we're going to have the Mass, that this bread and wine is the body of Jesus Christ. He would be the church. Probably not today, but. If a man got up in a Catholic church and got hellfire and preaching that Mary can't do nothing and only by the blood of Jesus Christ not to be eaten but be taken by faith, they would throw him out. If a man got up at Jehovah Witness Hall and said Jesus is God, they would have a heart attack. And this man that's a, is a minister of the Unitarian, I would hope to believe that he would have, shouldn't have, but to follow the faith of his church. I hope he stood away from the Unitarianism, but I don't know. So let's look at this hymn. When he cometh, who? When he cometh to make up his jewels. All his jewels, precious jewels, his loved one in his own. Why can't you say Jesus? Why can't you say Jehovah? Why can't you say God? Oh, that's right, God is not Jesus according to Unitarian. He will gather, he will gather the gems for his kingdom. When you're quoting from Malachi, you're quoting about the nation of Israel to a bunch of Gentile children who you are not teaching that Jesus is God and you're not teaching the, the revelation and the authority of the inspired Bible. Man, the ministry of children has gone sour and getting sourer. And Jesus warned us, suffer the little children to come unto me, forbid them not, and it would be greater damnation that you just tie a millstone around, around your neck to be cast off into the deepest sea than to offend one of the little ones. Little children, little children who love their Redeemer, capital R. Well, he can't be a redeemer if he's not God. Because God was sinless and Jesus Christ was sinless. The blood that flowed through Jesus, Acts 28, Acts 20, 28, is the blood of God. And by God coming out of the grave three days and three nights, Paul said, listen, if Jesus was not resurrected, he did not come out of that grave, then our religion's vain. Just go eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. 
the very aspect of the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures for our sins, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, is the very fact that Jesus is God, our Redeemer. Which puts him way above a pope, way above a preacher, way above an evangelist, way above a Christian. Because he's God. He's our Redeemer because he is God, which is the denial of the Unitarian Church. Or whatever they call themselves. Are the jewels precious jewels he loved in his own? Like the stars of the morning, his bright crown adorning. His bright crown? Revelation 19 says, When he come, he has many crowns. Why did you limit Jesus to one crown? What'd you do? I'm looking it up right now. I'm going to read it to you. Revelation 19. Give me a moment here. When he comes. Revelation 19 is about Jesus Christ coming. Coming back for the Jewish people. And Revelation 19 verse. Where can we start? 11. And I saw heaven open. Behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth. For his eyes were the flame of fire, and his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And his clothes were dipped with vegetables, dipped in blood. And his name is called the word, capital W, of God. And you run that capital W word over to 1 John chapter 5 and says, The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Which is a denial of the Unitarianism. His bright crown. No, his bright crown. Adoring. They shall shine as a beauty. Bright gems for his crown. Again, his crown. Capital H, I S. His crown. That coming up to the Jewish people at the end of the tribulation period is Jesus himself who is God denial by the Unitarian and when you stick to Malachi and you quote from Malachi 3 the context of Malachi chapter 3 is Jehovah to the Jewish people and yet Jesus Jehovah saved and when you got a teaching that Jesus is not God, and there's no, Jesus never claimed to be God, you're putting off Jesus back to the Jehovah only, God only, in the Old Testament. You've done great ill and great error. And look, when he cometh, when he cometh, he will gather, he will gather. Little children, little children, just... Let's cut off the extra words. When he cometh to make up his jewels. He will gather the gems for his kingdom. Little children who love their redeemer. And the nation of Israel are jewels. Jewels. Precious. As Jesus said. As a man who found a, a pearl of great price. And went and hid himself and fought all the so that all he had. God gave all that he had. In his son the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is God. Now. I hope there was a lesson with this hymn. Taught to the Sunday school. I hope that the lesson would be. Talking about the jewels. Because you seen this, this hymn. If you don't know Bible. What is this talking about? And I didn't look up, but what do the Unitarians believe about the tribulation period of Jacob's trouble? Do they believe in a rapture? I, I, I trolled they would not. Do they believe a li literal seven years of Jacob's trouble, three and a half years and three and a half years, great, uh, three and a half, gr the great tribulation of years? 
that Jesus Christ himself is going to mount up when, that, when the sun goes dark and the moon goes dark and he's going to get on his horse and he's going to come with the church behind him coming for the remnant of the children of Israel that have been hidden, that have been scared off by the Antichrist and that he's coming in his glory with crowns. And those that come at, follow after him will have crowns. Some will have one, some will have two, some will have three, some will have four, some will have five, and some will have none. I mean, in my opinion, if my opinion has anything to do with anything, my opinion, this hymn is totally ridiculous. On the basis of what this man, a minister of the Unitarian, and what they believe about Jesus in the Bible and God, it's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Because this is classified in the return, the second advent of Jesus coming, and there will be no coming of Jesus Christ if he's not God. Doctrine and all that by the teachings of the Unitarian. I just throw it out the window and don't even bother it with it. Now, if this guy was, was a minister of a, of a Baptist church, a, a minister of, uh, of another denomination, maybe I give it some credit. Maybe he stood, you know, with the old Presbyterian, the old congregationalists, yo. But coming from a religion that denies Jesus as God as such as the Jehovah Witnesses. The Jehovah Witnesses on the coming is not looking for Jesus, they're looking for God to return. Who is not Jesus. And that they are the Jews, they are the 144,000, though they got over a billion, they got more than that who are died. Now, if you want to upset a Jehovah Witness, and I guess if you want to upset a, a Unitarian, you would say, Thomas said, my Lord, my God. And there was no rebuke. And I guess if you want to upset a Unitarian, learn something today. is Quote, Jesus said, I am the way. When they say all religions are the same, Jesus said, I am the way. I am the only access to God the Father. John chapter 14, verse 6. So, if Jesus is not God, according to the Unitarians, this minister, who's coming back? What is their beliefs on whatever, whoever's coming back? And who is this person that has a crown? I just saw something interesting here. Wait, let me check this out. Revelation 5, I think it is. Oh, hold on one moment, please. I may be wrong. Check this out. Oh. Oh, look at this. It says, his bright crown, his crown. Let's turn to Revelation chapter 6, verse 1. This is interesting. And I saw when the Lamb opened up one of the seals. And I heard, as it were, the voice of the thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, behold, a white horse. This is not Jesus of Revelation 19. This is not Jesus. This is Satan. This is the Antichrist. And he that sat on him, the horse, had a bow and a crown. A crown. Revelation 19 said many crowns for Jesus. Was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And the conquering is by peace. And then what follows this guy? Another horse. And to take peace with war. And then a black horse. A pair of balances. And famine. And death. And death in hell. 
If you're looking for somebody with a crown, a crown, you find that individual Revelation 6 too. To find the person coming back with crowns, Revelation 19. Now, I'm just quoting the verse. I, I'm not going to throw it anywhere. You do what, what you think you can do. But it says, His bright crown, singular, bright gems for His crown, singular. And again, let me just go back to Revelation 19 and make sure you know what we're reading about the true Jesus Christ. Revelation 19, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns with an S, and he's called the Word of God, verse 13. He's called the King of Kings and Lord to Lord, verse 16. I'm going to tell you one thing. The Bible says that Jesus is God. Jesus said he is God. God said that Jesus is God. There is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I can't explain it, but there is. And we've got a man who's a minister. I don't know what his beliefs I couldn't find. Maybe he opposed the Unitarian. I hope he did. I hope he did. But if he stayed true to the pulpit that he was inside of, this him, my opinion, garbage. And when, when he coming, when he coming, it's just the same words over and over. So, look at the facts. 